How do I start a food truck in Los Angeles? And do you need a permit for a food truck in Los Angeles? Well, welcome to Food Truck Freaks. We are YouTube's food truck entrepreneur channel dedicated to helping you, the food truck entrepreneur, get up and running. And not only that, but create a profitable, successful food truck business with tons of great resources absolutely free. So welcome to our channel. It is Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. We have actually not new to YouTube. We've got three other food entrepreneur channels. You can check out the links down below in the video description for our other channels, all dedicated to food entrepreneurship. So if you have a food truck and maybe you're looking to create some other type of food business, we definitely have the resources to help you get started. So let's dive into this question. Um, how do I start a food truck in Los Angeles? So they do have a particular process. And also, guys, another additional free resource before we jump into that. Down below, I'll have links to the Los Angeles County uh, website that actually has more specific information on what is required. Uh, three actual, three additional links were actually put down below to help you guys out. Okay, absolutely free. Just click on those and um, that'll take you over to the uh, state of California, Los Angeles page that's got a lot of other great information and then even actually the application for all the permits and everything we're going to talk about here today so let's dive right into it guys i don't want to waste your time uh first up you got the ein so you're going to need an employer identification number now if you're running a food truck business and it's a legitimate business and you're going to hire people and you're going to have employees well guess what the irs is going to want to know that <laughs> and when you start to pay them you need to make sure you keep track of the wages for tax purposes but you're going to need an EIN. Now, how do I get one of those, Damien? Well, you can actually go over to the IRS website. They're absolutely free. You simply sign up, uh, put the information on your business, and they're going to issue you an EIN. You kind of have to think of it almost like a social security number for your business, basically. And that's going to let them know who you are, what food truck business you're running, and all that good stuff. So every year when you go to your accountant, you can file your taxes and have your EIN set up and you're good to go. Now, next up, of course, from the county and city, you're going to have to have a business license, obviously, right? You're going to need to make sure you have a legitimate business license. Any move, mobile uh, food business or food business that's on a mobile, um, whether it's a, tr a food truck, food trailer, or food cart, those are all mobile food businesses and they do have to have a business license. And normally that costs anywhere from, on average throughout each each state and city, between $50 to $75, maybe 100 at the most. I know that we pay for our food business uh, here in Georgia, we pay 100 and I think it's 150 a year, $150 a year. Uh, but of course, we are a different type of, of business, food business when set up. So definitely make sure you get your business license. Next up, in order to start a food truck business, the permit you might need in Los Angeles also is going to have to be a seller's permit. So what exactly is a seller's permit? Well, look at it this way. If you go out and you buy ingredients and you're getting bulk ingredients, let's say they're vegetables, proteins, uh, any type of fruits, whatever it may be that you're getting, you want to make sure that you don't pay taxes on it when you buy it from your vendors. So as you can create a list of vendors, food suppliers, make sure that you're not paying sales tax. So you have to have a seller's permit in order to get exempt from the sales tax when you purchase it. Why? Because that's going to allow you to collect sales tax when you sell it to your customer. So through the window, you through your food truck window, as you go through there, you're going to need to sell, collect sales tax. If obviously if the county or city requires sales tax on food, you need to make sure that you collect it then, and then you can remit that to the city, or county, or the state. Next up, you got to have a valid driver's license. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Damien, that's obvious. you got to have a driver's license to drive a food truck. Uh, this is something we talk a lot about here on Food Truck Freaks, is that a lot of new food truck owners don't think about this. Yes, you as the food truck owner, you may have a valid food truck license or a valid driver's license in general to get all of the other additional uh, permits and licenses you'll need. But keep in mind... If you have an employee, you have someone working for you, working with you, and they are driving your food truck on your behalf, and you're not there, your food truck is your business. And if they get into an accident, guess what? Your food truck is going to be liable, not them. Obviously, yes, they're going to have some legal fallout for themselves. But if they don't have a driver's license that's valid on top of it, you could get that food truck impounded. You can get a food truck license revoked. You could get into a lot of trouble. So be sure that whoever's driving your food truck, if it happens to not be you, and you're going to a food truck event or food truck rally, whatever it is that you're going, make sure everybody's on the same page and they've got a legitimate driver's license that's valid, okay? Because that is your, your food truck, that's your business. And if that's a, a huge portion of your income and you've got somebody who you've hired and they don't have a valid license, that's gonna cause problems. Next up, food handler's permit. 
also known as like a food safety certification. These are basically a programs that the, your employees, including yourself, will go through in order to get a food handler's permit or food handler's license. It goes by several different variations as far as the term goes, but they all mean the same. These are going to be courses that are going to be set up to help you. Um, I think Serve Safe is one of them, if I'm not mistaken. They're going to help you understand how to prepare food, store food, serve it. Make sure if you've got any leftovers, and once you get back to your commissary kitchen, your commercial kitchen for the day, you're putting it at the right temperature in the freezer, refrigerators, whatever it may be, or even just dry storage uh, on the shelf. Make sure that you understand all that. So these courses are set up so you can prepare food safely and securely and for your customers and, of course, for yourself. You don't want any of your patrons to get sick, of course. Um, so these are uh, known as food handlers permits, but there's courses that need to be taken in order to get one of those. Now, next up, the health department permit. So, of course... Within the city or county, it's most likely you're going to have, obviously, the health department inspecting your vehicle and going through that process. Los Angeles is actually unique, and I, as a matter of fact, I'll go over that in a second. They have some unique uh, permits and licensing processes that sets them apart from other cities and counties throughout the United States. But the health department, of course, is going to definitely be in play with this situation, so you're going to have to have that as well. Now, if you have any type of gas or propane ovens or anything working off of ovens, and even most likely anything that is going to be used as far as equipment for preparing food or finalizing the food on your truck. For instance, what I mean by that is some food trucks actually sell prepackaged food. Uh, you, know, you may not even cook anything on it at all. You may just have refrigerator storage and maybe even a couple of uh, uh, tables, stainless steel tables, and that's it. But a lot of food trucks even sell repackaged, just basically food that is already prepackaged and reselling that. So they don't really cook or make anything on their food trucks. There's a lot of them that do that. But if you do, you may end up having to get what's known as a fire certificate. This is actually up to a fire inspection from the fire department because what they're going to look for is they want to make sure that the fire truck or the fire truck, your food truck is actually wired correctly, functioning correctly, and you don't have any potential explosive things on there like gas, gas uh, gr grills, gas ranges, ovens that may be required, propane, generators too. So they want to make sure everything is running perfectly before you jump out into uh, running your food truck. So fire certificates are something you may need as well. So next up, more specifically about Los Angeles. Now, if you're running a food cart or a food facility of mobile type, of course, as we mentioned, trailer or a truck. So here are the varieties of costs for the permit. So if you're selling prepackaged food, like I had just briefly mentioned, and you're in a food cart, the uh, permit fee for that, the facility fee is $393. If you're running a truck or food truck or food trailer, it's, like 607, it's about 700 bucks, it's $690. Now, if you're running a food cart that happens to have, sell unpackaged foods, meaning basically you're going to be preparing food on a small little cart, that actually skyrockets. It goes to nearly $800 for that permit. Okay, If you're going to be uh, selling unpackaged food, like if you're doing tacos, you're doing fresh ingredients, you're doing salads, sushi, something that has to be made and it's unpackaged, a food truck or food trailer will run you about $900 plus for the permit. That's in Los Angeles. Okay. <clears throat> so what do I need in addition to obtaining a public health permit, Damien? So basically, in addition to obtaining a public health permit, you'll also need to get a business license, as we mentioned, in the city specifically. All right. Now, also, you'll need to check the land use restrictions for the city if you're reselling food and to ensure that you're allowed to sell food in that specific space that you're desiring. Now, there's some parts within the city where the land is going to be restricted, basically the street, the street where you are. Are going to be restricted so make sure you find out from then where is le where is legally to park and if you need any parking permits yes believe it or not cities and counties will charge for parking permits so that's one thing you need to be aware of too in los angeles especially with obviously the congestion and traffic that los angeles has you need to be aware of that so what do i need to operate a mobile food facility such as a food truck so you are required to have a public health permit as we mentioned before to operate a food truck you may apply for a health permit by actually contacting the Department of Public Health directly. And of course, we'll have links down below to help you guys do that. Okay, I'll set them up for you uh, to make it super easy as well. Now, Damien, what is an example of prepackaged and unpackaged food? So like for a food cart, what would be prepackaged? So this would be like an example of like ice cream bars, uh, chips, gum, snacks, water bottles, soda cans. See, these are things that you're not actually preparing or making per se on the cart itself or the food truck. Unpackaged cart would be something like plated foods, hamburgers, fries, tacos, burritos. Uh, if you're doing like a cart, a push cart, and it was a, a food, a mobile food cart, things like coffee, smoothies, uh, corn on the cob, 
uh, churros, hot dogs, tamales. These are certain types of foods that would be considered unpackaged, okay? Just to help you distinguish between the two. So that's a quick rundown of what you can expect if you're looking to create a food truck in Los Angeles and you're kind of asking yourself, uh, do you need a permit for a food truck in Los Angeles? Yes, you do, most definitely. Uh, make sure you guys check out those links down below to help you out. Um, and if you have questions about starting your food truck, this is Food Truck Freaks and we love your questions. Definitely uh, with brand new subscribers, hit the subscribe button and we will make a video and help you out as much as we can. I'll see you guys on our next video.